Hello, and welcome to our lecture on setting up an APA template. So I've opened up my word processor here. Uh, this is Pages uh, in Mac. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up a blank document. Now this is actually fairly straightforward given that we are now using 7th edition APA. So much easier than the 6th edition and it should make for a very quick setup. First thing I want to do is make sure that I am in Times New Roman and that I have 12 point font and also that I have double spacing. The next thing that I want to do is set up my pages. Now I know that I'm going to need essentially four sections. So my first section here uh, is going to be the title page. So I've just hit enter a few times and now I'm going to hit uh, insert page break. And then I'm going to hit enter a few more times, insert page break, a few more times, insert page break, and then just hit enter a few more times. So I should have four pages now. The next thing that I want to do is head back to the top and set up my title page. So I'm going to move down a little bit. I'm going to center everything and I'm going to put in my title. So Again, this is going to be centered. I'm going to hit enter twice. And then I'm going to put in my name. I'm going to put in my institution. And I'm going to put in the date. Next thing I want to do is get back up onto my title here. And I am going to bold my title. So I've just hit Command B for bolding. Of course, you can head over to your list here and get the bold uh, type. Next thing I want to do is set up my running head. Now, the great thing about the running head is that I do not need to type in the word running head anymore. Technically, for a student paper, you don't even need a running head, but I would like to see students use the running head since it doesn't really take anything away from your time. It's a very simple process. Insert page number, so simply a one there. And I'm going to highlight this while I'm here and again change this to Times New Roman. And then I'm going to head over here. I'm going to hit my caps lock and I'm going to type in this is the title of my paper. Again, I'm going to select this entire running head and I'm going to get Times New Roman. Now, this title here, this running head can be no longer than 50 characters, including spaces. So it's essentially a shortened version of your title. If your title is short enough, then you can just use your entire title in that running head. The other thing to notice is that the title of the paper does not go below the halfway mark of your page. So make sure that this last bit of information in your title is above the halfway mark. Next thing I want to do is get my abstract. So I'm going to type in abstract. And it looks like my caps lock is still on, so let's just do that again. Abstract. I'll let my spell check change that one up. I'm going to bold this, and I'm going to center. I'm going to come down one line, and I am going to start typing my abstract. So this is this is my abstract. Notice that there is no indent. So it's going to be continuing flush on the left all the way down. So there's no indenting on the abstract. 
I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit tab because tab is my indent. My indent is going to be 1.27 centimeters. And I am going to type in keywords with a colon. I'm going to select all of this and turn it into italic. Take away those italics. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and type in my keywords. So uh, my keyword might be something like term paper. That's not a good keyword. Um, economics. This is just to give you an idea of what you might be looking for. Economics and APA. Notice that uh, the only letter which is capitalized is my T here at the beginning. Economics is not capitalized. Of course, APA is an abbreviation uh, and it's also. Uh, American Psychological Association. So these are capitalized. And this is now set up for my abstract. Hit enter a couple times, just have some space below. So that's just a habit that I have. I'm going to go back up to the top here. I'm actually just going to copy my title. I'm going to come down to my third page. And there it is. This is the title of my paper. I'm going to left indent. And I'm going to hit tab, and your tab should be set up for 1.27 centimeters or half an inch. So this is the introduction to my paper. It is indented 1.27 centimeters. It will let the reader know what I am about to discuss. Enter tab. This is my second paragraph. Next thing I'm going to do is come down to my last page here. And for my last page, I'm actually going to go into the layout. And I want to have what I call or what we call a hanging indent. So I'm going to put in 1.27 centimeters here to get that hanging indent. This is for my references. Uh, my first line, of course, is going to be references. I'm going to make that bold. I'm going to hit to style, and I'm going to center this. Here we are with our left aligned, but we do have that hanging indent. And this is where I could start my first reference. So my first reference could be from, let's say, McCool, if that is somebody's name that I am citing. Let's go with uh, 2017 period. And then uh, this is the title of the minor work period. And then get italics in this. This is the name Oops, this has got to be in title case name of the major work. And it might have a volume, so I'll just put in a comma and I'll make up a volume number 33. I'm going to get the italics out, no spacing. Uh, this is my issue, issue four. And the next thing I'm going to look at will be, well, comma. And then my page numbers. So let's go with 336 to 396 period. And then we've got HTTPS. You will find this. You just get the link. Uh, DOI 4455662672. So whatever it might be. And then I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to automatically give me that. Um, you know, that link. And that's totally fine in APA 7th edition. So uh, you can keep that link in there, even if it's a different color. So even if it comes out on your computer as the uh, blue, which often it does, that's totally fine. You can see that my hanging indent is not quite working there. So I'm going to go right up to my reference here. I'm going to hit shift command with the down arrow. I'm going to select everything down here go back into layout. And yes, we can see that I only did this for part of this page. So 1.27. Now we can see that we have a hanging indent and that hanging indent will show up with all of my references. So everything is set up here. 
Um, one thing that you're going to want to check, uh, most of them are set up for this, but if we go into document, you can actually see that my document margins are 2.54 centimeters, which is what they should be. So uh, 2.54 centimeters is equivalent to one inch, and that is already set up, but you might want to check that before you begin. So there we have it. We've got the title page. We've got the space there. Bold the title. Bold abstract. We've got our bold title again when we get into the actual body. And then we've got our references again with the bolding. This is not considered a first level heading. All right, so none of these are first level headings. Your first level headings are actually going to be in the body of the paper. So if you've been looking at the five level heading format, then you know that that first level heading is going to be bold and centered in title case. So you still have to put that in if you happen to be doing a heading. And of course, you'll notice that I do not have a first level heading, which is introduction. So I would never put in introduction in a paper. Uh, as a first level heading. And the reason, of course, is because the introduction to a paper is the introduction and it needs no introduction. Right? So we don't need to actually get a title in there. The last thing that I want to do is create a table because in a lot of papers you're going to need to create a table. So I'm just going to create something very simple here. So I'm going to go up to my table here. I'm going to go over to the appropriate type of table. Uh, I'm going to select all of this. So we're going to the format, cell. I want to get rid of all the borders. All right, so border style is going to be no border. I'm going to take the top row here, the entire top row. I'm going to merge my cells. I'm going to take the entire bottom row. I'm going to merge my cells. Up in the top, I'm going to type in a table one, enter. And then this is the title of my table. Notice that it is in title case. I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to put that in italics. And I'm going to select my table one and put that in a mold. And then I've got my column headings. So these are going to be the headings for your column. So column heading, column heading one, column heading two, column heading three, column heading of four. And then I'm going to put in my values. So we'll go back here and I've got my perhaps so data name one, data name two, and then we got some value in here. We got some other value in here, got some value here, and so forth. All right, so we got all of our values in there. And then this last one we might want to be putting in a note. So I put in note period. And I say this is my note. And it's just a note. There's no period after the second note. This is going to be an italic. And I might want to do some centering here. I prefer to have my left column in general. I like to have my left column left aligned. And then I like to have my other columns centered. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my borders. So I'm going to select the headings here. I'm going to go to my bottom border and I'm going to put in a border. I prefer a one point. I'm going to also put a border on the top of that. So there we have that. And again, one point for me. And then along the bottom, I'm going to, so just above the note, but below the data. I'm also going to put in a border of one point. So there we have a APA table. Last thing to do is to arrange the text. Now a table doesn't have to be double spaced. So the rules for a table are make it so that the spacing is 
something that makes it look good. Right? That is the rule that we have for setting up a table. Make it look good, but it does not have to be two point. If you use 1.7 point, like I've got shown right here, then you should do all of your tables in 1.7 point. Uh, so choose, choose a good value for making your tables look good, but there is no set rule. It does not have to be double spaced anymore. So the spacing, I'm just gonna go with 1.27. And of course, I want to change this to Times New Roman and bring it up to 12 point. So that is my APA template. And I can simply save this as my template. And whenever I need to write an APA paper, I can pull it up and I can simply fill in the blanks. So that is fill in the title of my paper, move that title up to my running head. And again, if, if you'd like to, uh, or remember that this can only be 50 characters long. So this is actually a shortened title of the paper in many cases. I want to make sure that my date is correct. So I usually just put the due date of the assignment on that particular line if there is a due date. You may or may not need an abstract. If you don't need the abstract, then you can just remove this part of the paper. Keywords are ready to go as far as how they're formatted. Same thing with this particular abstract paragraph. Notice that there is no indent. And then we can get into the paper. We've got a table if we should happen to need one and our references are set up with the hanging indent. So thank you for tuning into this lecture. Hopefully you have learned something today and we will see you later. Thank you.